long-term process. It's not just about competing. A hard route, this motivates me. That I didn't know about. Big shoulder move. For 500 meters, the hardest climb I ever climbed. It's hard. My name is Mathilde Becerra. I'm a professional rock climber. We're here in Orlu. It's a small bouldering area that's not as famous as the other ones in the Pyrenees, but that's really nice and remote. Uh, we're here just to discover this place. I've been here, I think, about 20 years ago when I was really small and I was barely climbing. So I'm really happy to be back here and discover the, the potential. I went here the first time with the, uh, the gym that I was uh, in and my dad was here, yes. But he, he's not a climber, so it's funny. We, we were there together and he, he loved it so much and I would have never thought to be back here 20 years later. <laughs> so the style of the boulders here, I would say, it's like kind of crimpy, holds. This is something that I like. This, uh, this area is not very famous and uh, it's today is completely empty and so it's really nice to just be in the forest alone and it's really peaceful I think every climber enjoys his peace and you know to have the whole boulders for himself so I was in the French team for 10 years and was competing uh, a lot <laughs> and then a year ago I decided to stop and, and really focus on outdoor climbing and since then I've been just doing every type of climbing possible, bouldering, sport climbing, multi-pitch and recently mountaineering as well. So I really, I go with the flow, I really like to change and I just love to climb anything really. Stopping my comp career has been really a big change in my life and it definitely did change the relationship I have with climbing. I don't really think in terms of performance anymore. I really uh, found my passion, but my true passion for climbing as being outside, enjoying time with my friends and really just, you know, just enjoying a nice movement, even if it's not hard. And that I didn't know about as I was competing, which is crazy. I think I'll just keep climbing um, and find new challenges. For me but sometimes I just feel like not climbing as much sometimes I feel like just doing alpine it really depends I think it's always important to just listen to what you feel like <laughs> there are so many places that inspire me and uh, as a former competitor of course I would love the challenges I can't say that forever I'm gonna be fine with just doing fun boulders so every once in a while I definitely do need a challenge Apart from projects for myself and new challenges, I really feel right now like I want to give back everything that I learned during my, my career as a competitor, but also as just a rock climber. And I've been, uh, I've been doing humanitarian projects and kind of teaching kids and young climbers uh, from countries that don't have as many climbing infrastructures, really trying to bring the expertise to them. Yeah, I really like to give back now. It's time for that. <laughs>